What up, y'all? I clicked join the queue and it started up immediately. It's amazing. We're doing another modern cube draft here on Magic the Gathering online, the internet. And later we'll get half a mic. Yeah, we were having some issues with the chroma key and the green screen and the green wall and the green door. It's a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood reference. I like Atras. Let's do five color. It's five color buck buck. Take grudge. In this format, grudge is terrible. Oh, Lord. Got a little no beats popping in. It might just be Chromatic Lantern in this format, man. That's all. Oh, chromatic into Niv Mizzet. Can we be more on brand? Oh, yeah, we're doing that. We're living that dream. Five color dream. Oh, yeah. Blood Crypt? I like a Blood Crypt. Definitely Claren, also not bad. <sighs> Maldai is great, but I ain't taking it over a Niv Mizzet after we pick a Chromatic Lantern. That just feels. There's a feeling about that. got here Aaron Mesa I like it Sphinx's Rev Heart of Keld Bonder Prodigy I think it's Aaron Mesa boy oh I like a drowned catacomb drowned kitty catacomb I also like Obnixilus a lot um Yeah, I just kind of want to take all the all the good fixing lands that we can get a hold of. Maelstrom Pulse is nice because it hits with niv and it also kills anything. Grave Daddy's also a real good. I think Grave Daddy's stronger than Maelstrom Pulse. The The benefit of Maelstrom Pulse being able to be hit with niv and I don't think it outweighs the, the power level of, of Grave Daddy. Here's another Chromatic Lantern. What up, ew, you're skinny? I'm gonna take this, I guess it's Dryad. I mean, Dryad with niv it seems good. Plus we're trying to play all the colors. I, I don't mind Kitchen Finks. I also kind of like Marshall Koo. You like that I stuck him right on top of here? I don't know why I did that. I wonder, how, I wonder if Ulamog is a realistic option. I do really like Woodfall Primus a lot. Jimmy was the race car driver. Drove so goddamn fast. Is it charming and bad, but I ain't. I'm not excited about it. Maybe it's fine. You know what? I'll take an Is It Charm. We'll, we'll do it. Oh, Atris is great. Languish is fine. I think we can get more Atrises or uh, more Languish effects. Um, Like, this is great because it's card advantage and you can hit off and miss it. And Sulphur Falls is pretty nice. That's We also have a, a pretty pretty solid Grixis mana base here. Uh, Golos is in the cube. Yes, we just did a Golos yesterday, actually. Oh, 
Oh, Deafening Clarion. Oh, Hero's Downfall, though. Like, I really like having ways to deal with Planeswalkers. Deafening Clarion's good. But I bet... I bet Marshall Coup comes back. Sun Titan. Obnixilis came back? Good lord, the lack of respect. We're heavy black for sure. Draft one card of each color pair. Oh, Terminus is interesting. I mean, Lingering Souls has to be great here, right? Marshall Koo is the last pick! I feel like we're black-white, and we're just splashing all these other colors. So, oh, I want that Steam Vents, but Golos. We're Golosing. I didn't come here to, to not Golos. Yeah, that's the second time Bobby Nixless wheeled for us. He wheeled for it yesterday. He wheeled for it. He wheeled for us yesterday. And, um... That was nice because we accidentally mistook something. Ooh, when I say we're we're black-white, and then we see a godless shrine, that's pretty juicy. I like a Johnny Vengeant. I like Choops. I think godless shrine is real important, especially when we have Arab Mesa. And we have double white, double white. You know, you, you know what happening. You know what happening. Sun Petal Grove's decent. We also don't have any green fixing yet. There's no real gold cards I care about. Please, God, take Obliterator. <laughs> I think it's a little too... I think it's a little too... It's a little too extra. I also don't mind Doomblade. Just being able to kill a dude. Just being able to kill a guy is nice. That sounds terrible out of context. I'm going to take Sun Petal Grove. Oh, Isolated Chapel? These are all very good lands. Watery Grave is nice. Jeez. Chapel's black-white. Watery Grave is fetchable. I think it's Watery Grave, and I think the Chapel we have a chance of it coming back. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I get it. You're the dickhead that takes all the lands on you when I'm trying to draft a three-color deck. Yeah, buddy. Suck on these lands. Got them. Savai Triome seems juicy. We can get it with Arid Mesa? Oh, yeah. We're taking that. Dragonlord Silumgar is also a banger, but... One of the issues I've seen with this deck when we've played it is that we have too many six drops and they glut up our hands. So we already got two titans. What can Sun Titan get back? Not Sun Titan's not great yet. We'll just put him over here for now. It's creepy how you were saying exactly what I'm typing before I can send. That's not creepy. That's just how it is. You know how it goes. Damnations actually seems pretty good. I don't care about Voice of Resurgence. Let's take a Damnation here. Buddy, I already got two payoffs in my deck and I got a whole other pack. I'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. Oh, Rakdos is... Oh, oh Rogren Triome. Again, we can search for it. We're Triomeing. 
Not even close. Jimmy was a race car driver. Is it Jimmy or Johnny? It was Jimmy. I nailed it. That's a Primus jam, in case you guys didn't know. It's a Woodfall Primus reference. Oh, it's Jerry. Dang it. Dang it. Whatever, Mark. You think you know so much about Primus? I'm taking Karanos. Karanos is not only real good, but we can hit it with nibbles. The steam vents came back? These people have no class. Oh, Choops came back? Oh, man. Liliana's pretty good. I like Choops, though. What do we hit with this guy? Like, literal nothing, right? I don't think we have a single instant in our deck right now, except for Izzet Charm. No, I don't like that. Shiv and Fire might just be fine. I don't know why you have Shiv and Fire and Burst Lightning in the same queue, I'll be honest. Like, Shiv and Fire just kills a guy. Whatever. Go for the Throat also seems pretty decent. Breeding Pool? You know what? I'll take a voice. We're not taking a blitter out of you friggin' maniacs. I <laughs> has infinite sads now. Oh my god. I always forget you know my name in real life. Yeah, buddy. What are you gonna do about that? I also know your home telephone and your address. I'll see you later. Yeah, this mana base is looking sweet. Well... It was a guy. Also, I like this Soren. Fuck, Soren and Scarab got in the same pack. You're going to make me choose between my two favorite children? Polygon's command is nice. Third Triome is nice. Polygon's Command or Third Triome. We have 13. We have 11 lands so far. This is going to be 12. Command is detachable? We can take it off? Well, that's good. Sometimes you don't want to bring your command with you. I'll take the command. Maybe the Triome comes back. Oh, Dreadbore. Dreadbore is the juice. Assassin's Trophy and Xenagos. Both searchable. I, I like Ral, uh, but I don't want another five drop. Oh, what up, Chorwit? Utter Pelon, I didn't even see your sub resub, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub, Utter Pelon. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. <laughs> Apparently, autocorrect does not know the word fetchable, because that is a word that is almost exclusive to magic. Ah. Uh... I like Assassin's Trophy. We have a lot of removal. We have Go for Throat, Is It Charm, Dread Boar, Shivan Fire, Heroes Downfall, Damnation, Choops. I kind of like Xenagos because it just fits here and it also does ramp us a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of ramp. Just a little just a little touch of rampy. I like Gargaroth, but I don't think Double Green's where we want to be. I think Nairi's probably fine. My dog thinks sticks are fetchable. Touche. Uh, Path is is actually kind of nice. I think Nahiri's better, though. Nahiri gets rid of enchantments and artifacts, which we don't necessarily have a way to do right now. Uh, Misty Rainforest. Probably the best thing we could have asked for. It gets, uh, Breeding Pool. Does it get this Triome? It gets this Triome. It doesn't get this Triome, though. Gets Steam Vents, gets Watery Grave. Misty is a nice... Duplicate actually seems fine. 
Skuller's fine, but if we're playing on like Damnationing, I don't really want to put a 2-2 that takes a card and then gives them their card right back, where I think Duplicant is actually just like a, a very solid answer. Eldest... Oh, Abrupt Decay? Oh, wow. Abrupt Decay is great. I'll probably play Abrupt Decay over Voice. That's unbelievable to me. It's absolutely disrespectful. Um, that's wow. Progenitor mimic. Okay, I'll take a mimic. That Ral came back. We have Hero's Downfall. We have Dread War. I don't think we need another Planeswalker. I think our uh, Planeswalker removal spell. I think I'd rather stick to Planeswalker. So we need one cut right now. We also have sick mana. That's the five mana Ral. Xenagos is kind of meh. You're rude. Gilded Goose? Look at our mana. One, two, three, four. I <laughs> guess we get it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, twelve lands? So we get five basics? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, came. Do we have all color pairs? I'm not playing this guy. So probably not now. Actually, we might still. Um, Scarab God. Xenagos. No, we only have six. Well, we have Celestia, we have Orzov, and we have Simic. So we have nine. What are we missing here? Let's do quick, quick, quick. Um, Black... Nahiri. Maybe we're not missing any, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have ten. And we're not playing these three. But also, we still have Karanos, Atris, and Kolagon to hit. So we have ten cards in the deck to hit. I think we can take out Duplicant. This deck looks sweet. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. So we're going to have to do the old. You guys know how it goes. Get, get this boy over here. White, blue, black, red, green. 5, 18, 8, 4. Wow, that is wild distribution. We have a lot of black. All right, so white, we have one, two. <clears throat> Misty, get any white? Yes, it gets Jeskai Triome. That's pretty cool. One, two, three. No, one, two, three, four, five. Five white and six white sources, or six white cards. I would say add one planes so far. Blue, we have five, five blue cards. Again, no double blue or no double white except for Marshall Coup, which is fine. Uh, blue, we have Arid Mesa gets the Jeskai Triumph. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue sources already. And not a single double blue. That seems good. You like this mana plateau, brah? Alright, black sources. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, well, six, seven. Seven's actually pretty good. I'm probably leaning towards two swamps. Red, we have eight red red symbols. We have one, two. Uh, Misty gets team as three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe one. And that's one, two, three, four so far. So five could be a forest. Let's see. Arid Mesa gets. Nothing, fortunately. 
So one, two, three. Yeah, I think we just need one forest. So it looks like one, two black, one, one. But we only have four green cards anyway. One's dry, one abrupt decay, one Xenagos, and Niv Mizzet. So yes to this, no to this. And two and one, yep. Everything else is pretty good. All right, let's do it. Mm. Dryad does fix everything, so does Lantern. Those are very, very good. Thankfully, our mana base is very good, though, outside of that. We also have, like, literally two 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 creatures before uh, Damnation, which is nice. I never like to have, like, a bunch of two-drop creatures, a bunch of three-drop creatures, and then Damnation, and then you're like, oh, darn. Uh, let me also, hold on, let me cut this real quick. I just want to know what we're searching for when it comes to, like, Nahiri or when it comes to fetch lands. We can keep this, we can get a Jeskai Triome. Is my hair doing that thing again? Yeah. So these. Whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, well. Six, five, five, four, four. Okay. Well, here we go. Here we go. It's that time again. Where you miss your land drops. Steel Leaf Champion. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. Land? Nice. Guys, it's not a game if you don't miss your land drops, okay? Wow. Well, it's not a land. But it was a, a nice draw, I guess, if we're... Uh, Let's go to the next game. That was fun. I'm tempted to just play 18 lands. Like... I just did. I added one more forest, okay? It does seem like an 18 land format in the sense that I get mana screwed more times than not when I keep two landers. In other formats, if I keep two lands, I'm pretty sure I can draw more lands in the next three turns. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, okay. We'll give it a go. Um, send you down to down to Frown Town. 
Send them on down the right train. Have you ever been outside? Got to call on the rat train. Send them on down the rat train. Kill it with fire, waste your turn. My favorite thing to do is killing their things. Ding, 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 ding. So this thing is, I mean, a double black. And a double white, so we can get that Savai. I think it's Savai Triome. It's the Mardu Triome. Okay. Okay. Two. Oh, oh, they're both forests. Huh. Well, I'll be. Savai. Savai. Black. Do you think your missed land drops might be some secret deal Mike B made to pay back his rat debt? Like maybe 25% of your lands are going to the rats? Buddy. Who can say, you know? Oh, interesting. Huh. What if it's three lands? <laughs> How good is this card is the question. We have some bangers in the deck. Okay. I mean, if they play Elder Gargaroth, I'm going to be much greater. That much, much more, much happier that I, they took this one. Take the down card. No, oh, all right, that, that guy's good too, I guess. Hmm. Well, I'll be. So we can Kolagon's command. It's not super exciting. I think we just slam Karanos here. Like, this seems hard to deal with. And every turn it's going to draw us more cards. If they make another beast, we can easily attack this Damnation. Damnation seems good against the mono green deck. I'm no expert. Actually, that was, I was just kidding. I am an expert. They pay me the big bucks, guys. Unfortunately, there's no damnation for Planeswalkers. Oh, yes, there is. It's called Storm's Wrath. It's true, I guess. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's something. Fascinating. So we can kill this. One, two, three, four. It's called Elder Spell. Wow. <laughs> Is this from right now? With fire, waste your turn. My favorite thing to do is killing their things. Kill it with fire. <laughs> wow, that sounds really dark. What a dark song. We can either kill this or put this to one and then we can like... I don't know, man. Like this is gonna go to five next turn or they can negative this thing.
Let's do this. Hold on. Let's see if we can... Who's a player? There's a lot of resources to get rid of their... Like, to get rid of... Get, getting rid of creatures, but, like... It also makes them discard, and we also get to attack one of these two. They can't draw cards next turn. And this gives them ex extra access. I think we're actually killing Vivian. This doesn't do anything next turn except makes a 3-3, and then we can kill it with Karanos. Whereas this also makes a 3-3, but they can look at the top card as well. So. And so if they have like a 6 drop, they have Primeval Titan on the top of their library, and then... Alright, well. We both have two cards, but us having a Karanos seems pretty strong. Okay, Mystic. We know they're drawing Mystic. Oh yeah, that thing's gonna get eaten. Okay, this is pretty good actually. If we can just hit a non-land off the top, then our, our then like we're basically Yes. So we know they're drawing Rattleclaw Mystic? They're gonna eat something? Sure. You got it. You ate my go for the throat. So now they have one card, we have two cards, and we have a Karanos. We know they're drawing Rattleclaw. That seems good. Okay. I feel like this is highlighted in the graveyard. Yep. C -c cool. Well, if you want to get back in a game, Elder Gargoth is a good way to do it when your opponent's at 10, so... Seems good. Solid top decks. Actually, I guess this was in their hand. Wild. Yeah, no, no blockers because I don't have any creatures. So we have one turn to find an answer to Elder Gargroth. Seems good. Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> the charm. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good job. Good job on having Elder Gargroth. Solid games.
<sighs> Zero to ten, how would you rate this modern cube? Three. Maybe four. It's definitely not my favorite cube. I mean, I've heard from a lot of people that it's their least favorite and they're, they're not enjoying it. I have not heard from any people that are like, this is, it's really good. I think it's a fun cube. Like, it's really funny, the disparity. Like, maybe if you guys are enjoying it and having a really good time, like, definitely let me know because I don't want to just be biased and feel like it's... Braid, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> That's like, how do you always have it? How? I don't understand. Land? Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Do we have a blue? Oh, we do have a blue. So lucky. Actually, I mean, let's just play Planeswalker, right? Let's be real. I think all cubes are fun to watch in terms of, like, in, as, like I would much rather watch cube drafts than like standard matches or you know constructed matches because with constructed matches every match is the same it's not exactly the same right they play out differently magic is different every time everybody knows this right but like you're playing the same 60 cards every single turn game after game and it's like in cube every match is different every draft is different so what do we have we have blue black white actually this is gonna be white right so we can go white red green black and blue cast the cast the mizuti to <laughs> draw four <laughs> oh like you do like you like you do sometimes you just get her done Hit we with the Mizuti. This is this is Niv Mizuti, guys. Didn't you know that? You guys don't know about Niv Mizuti? Shoot. Oh, Meteor Meteorica Magic Man, you and I are exactly the same. Whenever I played FNM, I would play a different deck every week just because like that's where I find enjoyment. I want to do different things in magic. You gonna kill my Niv Mizuti? Wow. Kill my Niv Mizuti. You can suck my booty. So we have like eight mana to work with here, huh? We could is it charm the chupacabra and Soren the Gonti and attack for two. That seems pretty good. Do 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 When you order the one one color of spirit specifically for Forbidden Orchard and they send you the white flyers. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I'm so meticulous I'm also so meticulous with my tokens. If someone's like if someone makes a wolf in a in a game and they put like a two two a two two knight or something, I'm like, no, it's a wolf, okay? You don't understand. I don't want to look at a knight. I want to see the wolf. I kind of just want to dreadbore this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, they'll get it back. Oh, we'll get it back. Oh, baby, that's our own Scrabble God. That's probably going to be game, right? Oh, my God. They just gave us our own Scrabble God back? That's wild, dude. 
This cube is awkward with minimal ramp and limit, limitless mid-range threats. Unless you're green, you can't ramp. And there's so many things you have to kill or else you just lose. Okay, I don't know how they win, but maybe they'll win. Maybe they're doing fine. What do I know? I assume we're going to go to game two now. We are going to go to game two now. Karanos, Xenagos, and Soren. All the Oses. Against, I agree. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. What did I say that you agree with? I know you said something. Or I said something. I said a thing. And then you said, I agree with that. What was the thing I said? I forgot. Oh, one land, huh? Let's mulligan. One land, huh? Let's mulligan. Three lands, huh? Okay. Sure. We're keeping this hand on the assumption that, like... We'll just draw a bunch of, a bunch of playables. You got it. Let's get a triumph. I love getting triumphs with, with fetch lands, dude. It's just the best. I mean, this is a this is a good recovery so far. You were saying how awesome a guy I was, and everyone was agreeing with you. That sounds right. Yeah, I can, I can get behind that. Y'all heard about my friend Super Fritz? Wild. That guy's a maniac. Look, they got their abrade mana ready to go. You ready? Here it is. Oh! 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 Survived. Okay. I mean, on turn four, that's not a super big deal for me land oh being able to just drop a Karanos here is is pretty hot that's a hard card to deal with I don't actually know what Grixis can do about a Karanos they can bounce it watch they're gonna have an answer right here I need an answer I also got a Hero's Downfall for that guy. Oh, they just they do bounce it. Sure. That's rude. I said they could bounce it. Oh. Interesting. I could Abrupt Decay Hero's Downfall here. That's pretty cool. I'm probably doing that. My only concern is counter spells. I don't want this guy to get countered. Shut up and take my money. Okay. One maniac bug. <laughs> Solid Nicolas Cage gift. Solid. Just went to throw some stuff away and discovered that not only was the trash can full, but instead of taking the trash out, my roommate took a grocery bag and put more garbage in it next to the can. Oh, you just gotta double up. Just keep on dude, roommates like that are the worst, dude. It's like why can't you just take the trash out, bro?
Like you're so opposed to taking out the trash, you'll literally start a new trash in an unauthorized bag. Not on my watch, buddy. I feel like we're actually not doing great here. But, maybe, you know? They didn't play anything, and that's kind of frightening. Don't counter this. Oh, they didn't? So now I feel better. Soren will go to one, but we'll plus it, and we can start shooting down fairies if we... I'm sorry, do you have approval for this trash bag? Garbage juice is a delicacy, and you're just going to throw it away? Well... Don't you have to throw it away? Isn't that just how the, the system works? In order to get garbage juice, don't you have to throw things away? Six drop. Two drop? Okay. Two, three, four. This oh, we need a green, don't we? I just made up mana. I'm like, I don't care what colors I use. Now you got Mario music stuck in my head. You're welcome. John, are you working from home during this time or are you guys still going to the office? Oh, they're just going to face here. Oh, are they going to Storm's Wrath? Yikes. That's wild. Well, this is not a Storm's Wrath. I don't know what this is. Jesus fuck. Seriously? Oh, we can get Karanos back with Koligon's command? Oh, that's hot. You gonna counter my Atrus? Oh, it's working home since March? Dang, dude, that's pretty sweet. I mean, so they lost Bitter Blossom and All's Dust. We lost Karanos, Sorin, Xenagos. It's a three for two. Um, 100% this pile. Oh, <laughs> That's juicy. Got some good news. I got the promotion. Jimmy, congrats, my dude. Nicely done, buddy. I'm sure Michael B will be so proud. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. So we can't go... This would take nine. This would take eight. They didn't counter Atrus, which drew us a card. Okay. Well, I still feel like we're okay shape here. If only Scrambleton could zombify Karadadon. If only. Oh, and they have enough to exile it too? That's really good. That's a solid play. I can appreciate that. He ain't going back to the hand, though. Just let it resolve so it can't happen. What if it went back to my hand? I'd be like, what? What's going on here? Is it okay? T -t today junior
Oh my god, what's going on? Just, just let it resolve. If they hit OK, they'll figure out it won't go back to my hand. OK, there you go. We did it. Man, it's so sad because if we had one more mana, we could have actually Kolagon's Command brought it back in response. I don't know if I want a damnation just these two guys, but like maybe I do. Because end of turn I can call it Gon's command, which is fine. It's gonna be like Grave Titan, I'm gonna feel real stupid. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Return a creature and destroy a thing. Uh, return a creature and a splash. Red, this one. I want to hit a land so we can Dreadbore and Karanos. We did not hit a land. Eh, we're just going to get rid of this. Getting rid of this seems way more important. We could have discarded Izzet Charm to be able to do both these this turn, which probably would have been better. Yeah, that's fine. Also a thing I don't care about. I am going to play this. I think it's important to have 7 mana. Like, because you're a martial coup. Like, just gives us a lot of flexibility in the things we can do. That baby could be on the cover of a magazine called Babies I Don't Care About. <laughs> oh, Jesus. See, that's funny. Downtown, always yield to Karanos when he's drawing us lands. Karanos, Karanos is brighter there. You can forget all your troubles, forget all your Karanos. Down, down. Huh. So, guys, don't tell anyone. Yesterday, Katie and I were watching The Office, and we got to the episode where Michael Scott. Spoiler alert, but the office has been out for 20 years, so you guys gotta just gotta kinda deal with it. Where Michael Scott quits to form the Michael Scott Paper Company, and the last, the end of the episode, he's like, I quit? And Katie's like, oh no, I got a spoiler. Someone at work, I told him I was watching The Office for the first time, she's like, oh, it's great. But it gets a little bit worse once Michael Scott quits. And what they meant was after, like, Holly leaves, right? After he leaves with Holly. But what she thought it meant was after he quits right then so what she does she thinks like in the future there's not gonna be more michael scott so she doesn't know there's like still like another season and a half of michael scott so it's it's kind of enjoyable i guess it's just choops here i don't care about this thing i'm gonna be honest with you i'd rather save this for like a grave titan
One, two. Like, what, 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 what can we draw here? Like, Golos? Golos seems real good, right? Well, Jim was never really gone. He just went to Philadelphia. I'm going to do this the end of the turn. Wow, four lands. What a time. Good gravy. See, now we just get to kill this guy? Sure. One, two, three. Dryad of the Grove. Put a counter on that relic, I dare you. Oh yeah, just in case you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana instead of ten. <sighs> Heartless act. Sure. Okay, we have nine cards left in our deck. We really got to find a win condition here. What if Karanos kills us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are five lands in our deck. No, fourteen. There are four lands and five spells. So we have Golos, Marshall Coup. Oh boy. Well, that's two. Okay. That guy. Well, that guy is a thing. We have no creature lands, I don't think. And in the whole deck. Come on, Karen. Come on, Karanos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. White, red, blue, black, green. I don't know if we hit it all. Nahiri? Lingering Souls, Grave Titan, Golos, Martial Coup. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. I will not discard. No. I mean, this is decent. We got Grave Titan, Martial Coup for like a bajillion. Karanos is going to be Lightning Bolt and some fools. All right. Come on. Well, activation of goals could hit land. It could hit martial coup. Oh boy, they're just fucking never ending, never ending, never ending dudes, my dudes. Oh my god, dude, stop. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. I mean, this is a win condition. <laughs> no. So deck is great. So next turn, we can search for Grave Titan, put Grave Titan into play, make attack for a billion, and then just replay Grave Titan. Eventually. Our, our deck is Golos, Grave Titan, Lingering Souls. And they're at 25. Coligon's Command? They returned Kalidus and dealt two to Nahiri, sure. Who is such a co I don't think we can win now unless we draw Grave Titan right here. We have two more shots, right? Yeah, kill my ravenous chupacabra in response. Wow, this is insane. We're losing to decking. Sure. God, they literally just don't run out of... They just don't run out of spells. Damnation. Come on, dude. I mean, Sun Titan gets back Dryad, and that's pretty much it. Like, Sun Titan is another win condition, but it's not great. <sighs> sure. That's exactly what we did not want, because now... Actually... Actually... Oh no, we die though, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we die because we don't have Grave Titan in our library anymore. But the difference is, like, we just die next turn. We can't win. We don't have 19 damage. Like, this is three. Next turn, it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We can put them to 6. There's no way out of this, right? Yeah, alright, we'll just concede. That's fine. The light's so much. Maybe Whip of Erebos is good here. Doesn't seem like they have a great way to deal with it. Okay, so Martial Coup doesn't seem necessary. Whip seems decent. Voice seems actually pretty good. Is it Charm is seems kind of meh. Shiv and Fire seems kind of meh. I could see Progenitor maybe giving them a hard time. They do have damnation. Maybe maybe is it charms fine. Leave it in.
Oh, let's take Damnation Output Mimic in. That seems better. Ral could also be decent. Music Manly, you're Mike Manly, right? Dude, I read your so I read your comment this morning, and I, when I rewatched it, I was like, "How the fuck did I miss that?" <laughs> like Mike Manly, uh, Music Manly actually pointed out Lethal uh, on YouTube this morning. Like, there was, a, there was a, a moment where I had Lethal on board. All I had to do was attack their face, but I was so focused on the two planeswalkers they had that I couldn't even see it. I didn't even acknowledge their life toll. I don't think. And, like, I was like, wow, if I just swung at their face, like, we just win. And it was one of those situations where I was like, how is this, how did I miss that? I think there's still a Planeswalker thing where, like, you look at Planeswalkers and you're like, I'm playing against two opponents. Let me take out one of the opponents now. You know what I mean? Alright, I am going to keep this three lander because, this two lander, because we have a Chromatic Lantern here. I'm actually going to not crack this yet because, well, because I don't want to. I want to I wanna maximize our chances to hit a beautiful land like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always going to be Triome for me. Is Michael safe? Yeah, Michael's safe. He's okay. He's safe. How does that dragon work? Uh, do you only draw... No, you draw... Same like... So if you have... If I revealed these three, I would draw each of them. Because you can draw one card from each color pair. So I draw one red-green, one red-blue, and one blue-black. Get rid of that thing. Yep, yeah, okay. It might just be Xenagos and start pressuring Liliana. That is a good one.
We're attacking both at Ashiok, so it can't use the bounce ability. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, oh, because it negative one. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I guess I can still do it. Go ahead, bounce my care. Oh, that's actually real bad. Again, we're losing to planeswalkers. I feel like the, the only time I ever lose these, uh, this format is <laughs> to literal planeswalkers. <laughs> we got a new puppy and named him Hades. Wow. I feel like we're in actually bad shape right now, which is sad because all of our cards are very, very strong. All right. Did they not? Oh, they just made a guy. Wow, that's pretty good. Eight mana. Nine is the sweet spot. Yeah, that's rough. <sighs> I mean, there's also only one creature in the graveyard, unfortunately. What are the odds of the damnation next turn and set us back to the Stone Age? Chromatic Relic into damnation when you have two cards left. Here we go. There it is. Oh, just the tubes. Okay, well, that's still good. Yep. Okay, that was a good draw. Black, green, blue, white, red. It's pretty good. And now I can actually play lands because they can't bounce a thing here. And we can keep up his charm. Okay, well, six, they have seven mana. It's a lot. We kind of have to just prevent this from ultimating somehow. Why would you just attack with this? I'll take two. Are you going to damnation here? Why wouldn't you attack with this if you're going to damnation? I'm very confused. Oh, they want to mill it with Liliana, maybe? Yeah, that would make sense. Oh shit, <laughs> their own Karanos. 
Oh, that's wild. All right. Wow. Oh, is this going to be a spell? Dang it. That's really annoying. Spell. Um, kill this. Damn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna name the right colors eventually. Kill this. They have no cards in hand, so they're literally just relying on Karanos. It's not bad. So we have six mana. We could actually progenitor mimic the Chupacabra. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to kill Oleana. Then we get rid of both these. What's the holdup? I just want to go to combat. Whenever this creature attacks or blocks, each opponent exiles the top two cards of the library. Whenever this creature attacks or blocks, each opponent exiles the top two cards. Oh, it says it twice. I mean, we're just going to have to... They're in top deck mode. We're just going to have to slam Scarab God. I guess we're not going to have to, but we're going to. I mean, we can start eating Vampire Nighthawk, Glint Sleep Siphoner, Ravenous Chupacabra. Alright. They get one draw, guys. Solemn Simulacrum ain't it. They do get to kill a satyr. Or just shoot our face. Shooting our face. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so we know their whole hand. They're just going to get a land. Play, play Solemn. Whatever. Seder, I barely know her. Man, these two satyrs have stuck around long after Xenagos. I don't know what the holdup is. You have one card. You have one play to make. You have a Solemn Simulacrum. You have... I guess you can never return as well. Five, six, seven, eight. You can do both. And we have a Scarab God. I guess you're deciding whether to never... The, the Radish Chupacabra, the Nighthawk, or the Glint Sleep Siphoner. Like, we know the card in their hand is Solemn Simulacrum, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. What? What 
this is what they revealed off of Karanos. So they drew it. What the fuck is going on? This is super weird. They also have like a 10 seconds less than us, which might be relevant. That was like the weirdest attack I've ever seen. It's drawn to the land. Oh, Whip of Erebos, fascinating. Oh, I should have played Whip first. I forgot about the lifelink. What is that? Eight, nine? That's 13 life? That's a lot. Sure. I mean, post-combat Whip is still fine. Whatever. I'm not going to sweat it. Gaunty. Okay. Sure. Yeah, the lifelink's definitely relevant when they have Karanos. So, we'll just... What? How much mana are you tapping? You have a Gonti. Sure. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Tap 10? God, these matches take so long, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd be sick if it was like a Soren and we just get to counter it. <laughs> Why do we do this? Is this life? Blue and red. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, we just win the match. Wow, alright, cool. Alright, let's finish this bad boy up. Double toast or double cream? Creamed... What are you saying right now? Creamed corn sub. Toasted, please. Creamed, then toasted, or toasted, then creamed. Just don't double toast or double cream. <laughs> None of this is okay. Mm, double corn for me, please. Oh, wow. That thing must have hit immediately, and I didn't even notice it. He gets so distracted when he's streaming and talking to people. I'll keep this hand. Look at these basics. Snap it off. <laughs> 10 to 14 business days. Are you telling me you can't get a sub faster than that? I don't think you know how the postal service works. Nothing takes 14 days. Have you played Among Us? No. I'm actually going to play this because I want to be able to keep up Is It Charm in case they go like... You know what? I have no idea what they can play. Little Watson's under me right now. I mean, I literally get packages delivered almost daily, and it's usually 100% fine and efficient. Let's crack this. Get. Probably a black source. Watery grave it is. Say nay. Untap. Actually, I kind of like Dryad here better. Because then we can play Triumph tapped. 
I like it. Now we got four lands in play. Oh, the Amazon Prune. What's this gonna be? Oracle Moldai? It always is. Wow, look at these. Look at, what is going on here with this four color nonsense? Grookey. I just want to kill this, but I also like keeping a visit germ in case they don't have another land, but they have four cards. So, oops! <laughs> oh, that's awkward. I almost like I kind of kind of telegraphed what I have by tapping uh, green black. And, like, we could have gone to their upkeep and done it so that we see what the card they're going to draw, but if they untap and have, like, Cryptic Command, it's pretty bad. Like, they get to counter that and bounce, like, one of these two. So. USPS lost all but two? Wow, that's wild. Okay. So we're going to get to go Soren kill Gary. That's pretty sweet. Unless they have Mana Tithe. Can you imagine? They did not have that. Yeah, UPS is. There's been a couple delayed packages, but not by more than like a day or two. And it's only very. It's every so often. It's not even like every day. But it's definitely been more noticeable in the past like month, so. That's kind of frustrating. And the walls came tumbling down in the city that we... Why do I have this Bastille song stuck in my head? Elspeth is not super exciting. Hundred percent blocking. Soren is way more valuable than Dryad right now. I'm actually cracking this so we can get our deck a little bit thinner. Oh, unfortunate. Let's play this guy. Blocks a beast. What are you doing over here, you little biscuit? Is that you? Is that your brother? What's going on? Oh, it is your brother. Okay. I don't know. Why don't you close your eyes, though, and ask? But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like... I'm going to take the two, even if they're land. Oh, Grave Daddy in a land? A bold strategy, Cotton. Oh, wow. I would have put land go for the throat together to compel me to take the go for the throat. Two cards is better than a go for the throat. You know what I mean? What are you doing, you little Wallace? God, Wally's so needy. If your hand is anywhere near him, he has to be petting it. He has to be pet. You have to pet him, is what I'm saying here.
You have four cards and five mana. I don't understand. This is escape six? Four. Okay. Uh-oh. Could not be more tired of playing against this Ashiok. Interesting. I'm gonna kill this because I don't want them to activate their Windbrisk Heights next turn, which seems pretty annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could kill the Elspeth. I don't think that's super exciting. It doesn't actually do anything right now. It makes two more 1-1s, one -ones, which I don't necessarily care about. I think just drawing a random card here is a little bit stronger. Except if it's another land. Well, I mean, we've hit two lands off of Soren, a land off of the, uh, the Atris. <sighs> I think our opponent also knows the strategy. Yep. I mean, Soren does kill that Elspeth, which is nice. Wow, really? This is an interesting play. You can cast up to three spells from a face of cards your opponent's own from exile. I don't have any cards exiled, so. Exile a card in my hand? This one, sure. Oh, okay. That's totally fine. I don't know, this turn did not seem great. We get to eat a token. Killed our Elspeth. Soren still goes to two. Oh, Soren just survives? Why wouldn't you attack with this one as well? What is happening right now? I mean, we 100% kill this Elspeth. was a solid draw. I mean, they could trade Ashiok for Karanus if they really want to. But, I mean, that's okay. Because right now they just have these two and this on board. So, I don't know. We have no cards. It's not great. I do like our board, but I don't think it's unbeatable I mean we both have two walkers Mike come on buddy I wrote a Sora instead that's interesting Excuse me. And let's, and let's be honest, Karanos is basically a walker. Okay. Oh, they're going to pump both of these and then kill my Nahiri too? That's actually fine. So we traded Soren and Nahiri for Elspeth and Ashiok, and we still get to keep Karanos. You got it. 
All right. Well. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have six lands and our sixteen cards. I'll do that. Okay. I'm going to hold this in hand. We don't need the land right now. Splicer. Okay. What are the four cards in their hand? I don't know what's going on. Like, they're not playing anything. Don't be two lands. Yikes. Black one, two, they're gonna, they're gonna do something, you're gonna counter this, disallow, sure, okie dokie, we have 12 cards, I think Xenagos is really kind of scary right now, I guess we only have to hit five spells and they just die to that. I have no idea what their four cards are because they're not playing lands. They're not really doing anything. Just take these six here. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, yeah, alright. They also could have activated their Windbrisk Heights last turn by attacking with the Blade Splicer, but they didn't. Well, I mean, we just have two sorceries and a land, so I'm just going to F6 here. No reason to act like I got a play here. Yorion. Okay. Hmm. 
bolt you in the face. Colgon's command. What are we getting back? Grave Daddy? One, two, three, four for damnation. Three, and then one, two, three. We don't have enough for everything. It's my Grave Daddy. I think we got a damnation here. One, two, three, four. Hard counter? This is a hard counter for two mana, right? Blinking Yorion. Okay. Sure. I mean, they're at nine. They got three turns with Karanos. I do think a, like a Celestial Colony or a Caribbean Tarpet would have gone a long way in this deck, but. Oh, your own lantern. Well, now I can Colgon's command that thing. That's my grave daddy. Let's go target player dest destroy an artifact. Getting so close. I'm ready for the shenanigans. If you do any shenanigans, I'm just going to coo all over the board. To coo all over it. You're fighting my zombie, and I sack an enchantment. That's pretty good. That's really good. Wow. That was impressive. Sacking Karanos there was unfortunate. Thank you! I'll take four. Josh, thank you for the reset. 35 of these things is a lot, and I'm out of cleverness. I, I, I accept that. I think that's fine. I appreciate you, clever or not, my friend. Oh, baby. And we're definitely just gonna one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we have anything that can just kill them? Why doesn't they, why doesn't this cube have like ultimatums in it and stuff? Like there's so many cool things you can put in this cube and they're like, nah, we good. So we can cast him and activate him. How many lands do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lands. So there are three lands in the next seven cards. The other cards are Lingering, Lingering Souls. Um... Let's see if we can take a look here. Niv Mizzet. Did he kill Niv Mizzet yet? No. Niv. Scarab. Ob. Lingering Niv, Scarab, Ob. I think those are the four. Those are the four. It's those four and then lands, right? Mm-hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna play Golos, and then we'll just dread war the stupid bird. I mean, they're at three, so like... You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> White, blue, green, red, black, one, two. I ain't here to be a bitch. You want to wipe the board? I'll marshal coup, and then you gotta wipe it again. Two wipes, and I got this, and I get Scarab God back. I don't need three turns to kill you at three. I'll destroy you. There's so many planeswalkers, man. I'm so tired of it. Is this still planeswalkers? Hmm. No, he don't. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Spin the Golos. <laughs> Super Fritz, I appreciate you, buddy. Um, I wonder if Voice is good. I wonder if Whip is good. I wonder if Voice and Whip are good. I don't love Damnation. I feel like we have a ton of removal. And we still have Martial Coup. For if things get really out of hand. Bear, 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 bear. Shivan Fire is kind of unimpressive. Especially because it can't hit Planeswalkers because it's a terrible card. It's literally just creatures. It's it's an actual sh it's an actual terrible card for a cube. I don't know why they would keep that in Burst Lightning in here. There's so many better options. What do you do when someone likes a post on Facebook from like 10 years ago? I mean, you just, you, you accept the fact that Facebook is weird and it has weird algorithms and like if someone commented on that or someone liked it, it may show up in their feed. It may be in their memories. I don't know. There's a lot of weird ways that could show up on Facebook. Like, I wouldn't think too much about it. Or they could have been up till 3 a.m. stalking your Facebook page. That's the other alternative. So, you know, you gotta pick and choose. Look at all these beautiful fetch lands, man. It's gorgeous. So you're Jeskai. So we need an overgrown tomb to complete the... Uh... What if you get a notification saying someone liked your post on Facebook from, from 10 years ago? And it happened... 10 years ago. At, I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Oh, look at this lady. Lady, when you're with me, I'm smiling. You guys know that song? Was that Sticks? A song called Lady? I don't know. I just work here. Fabled Passage. Hey, you got to the Passage, huh? See, it's an Italian stereotype, but I'm Italian, so it's okay. It all, it all checks out. Oh, look at this. They're going to do a five mana thing. Here comes, I'm going to play Ashiok. I'm gonna play my Ashiok. I hate this Ashiok. So, oh, they're just gonna get shot. Just that's it. You're not even really. You're not ramping. You're not using. Hmm. I has a confuse. You like it a Maz in the Passage, huh? <laughs> it's true. You do. You do like the Maz in the Passage. Land would have been good. I would like a land. Look 
at that Elspeth. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. That's cool. I was I mean I'm more tempted to kill this because I think it's just You know what? I don't care anymore. I don't even care. What if they give me two lands here? Let me what if it's three lands? That's wild. Oh. Oh yeah, choose pot one for sure. Give it to me. Was it Voice of Resurgence was the other card? Shoot. <laughs> Two lands it is. Deal. Boy, that puts me right back in the game. That takes me way back. Man, we got a gravy tea. Riding on the grave train. Zona Noon. Okay, this is actually pretty funny. I don't know how many people are going to get this, but... <laughs> oh, God. See, that's funny. Is it my turn? What did they do? They just played a Baneslayer and made these things? Land? Niv-Mazoot. Isn't that cute? It's Niv-Mazoot. I mean, they have three, four attackers. They can plus two of them, and then Obnixilus doesn't really stand a chance. We can play Niv-Mizzet Reborn. I really just wanted a Martial Coup here, but we missed the land drop because, of course, we did. We could play Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Mm, doesn't do anything. No, no, no Planeswalkers have creature types. I, I, I kind of wish they did if this was a demon legendary demon planeswalker or like ugin would be a legendary dragon planeswalker so then like bane slayers can't be killed by them i think that's a really i think that'd be a really cool feature because there's no reason a, Nic a nickel bolus or an ugin should be able to kill a bane slayer when it has protection from dragons but i guess we could also just choop this thing god this martial coup seems so good right and this isn't going to hit any lands so Ugh. I would love to wipe this board. This is a board this is a this is a board wipe only a mother could love. Two three four. But we're gonna have Whip of Erebos and Choops anyway, so that's okay. Let's attack Elspeth. If you want to double block here and block here, that's fine. You got no creatures. <coughs> sure. Oh, she did. Yeah, Gideon becomes creature type dingus. It's a classic creature type. This guy, huh? What do I do about this? I'll take five here. He's definitely Chandra's type, eh? Eh? Guys? Ch Chandra? Guys? Eh? Uh, I don't want them to have this. So, Obnaluxum. Kill that thing. Go to the next turn. Done. Another, another again, there's another situation where I can go Ob and keep up go for the throat if I had another land. That seventh land is really just. You bounced it in response? 
What? That's weird. Is he gonna have Jason two other cards? What? How badly do you want that Jace? <coughs> okay, so you have Jason one. You have just Jason in your hand. That's all you have. What? Shut up and take my money. That's wild, dude. I get it, Bug. <laughs> Sammy, I'm glad you get it, buddy. I, I'm glad. I appreciate you. You're going face? Do you know what Obnixilus does? He's going to hit that land. I'm going to Marshal Kuyu. you. Oh, my God. This is going to be the end of the road. If we hit a land. What's up, kids? Hello, my son. You wanna come up here? Come on. Come up. Are you coming up? Where are you going? Come here. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Molly. Come on. Oh, Hunter's here too. Every all of the dogs are here, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Wallace in the house. Oh, you gotta sit. You gotta sit. You get where are you going? Where are you going? You got a green he's got a green bandana on, so it's okay. I don't know where you're going. <laughs> you gotta sit. You gotta sit. Okay, is it better to return a creature, like an Atris, than it is to get rid of the chromatic lantern? I don't think so. I feel like they have all the colors they need. Uh return a creature. Let's get Atris and kill your Jace. One two, three. And I'm going to go for this dude's throat. You don't need to have that guy anymore. And we're going to get in there. What are you doing, sir? This can't be comfortable for you. I don't know why you're not sitting down. You want to sit down? Well, even after all of that, we still have two more minutes on our clock. Can you can you believe it? Three more minutes on our clock. <laughs> our pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> Harry, I took care of it. If they cast something ridiculous at this chromatic lantern, I'm gonna feel real stupid. This is a top deck. Just just to be clear, they top decked whatever this is. Is it gonna be Elspeth Sun's Champion? That's a good top deck. Oh, they're just they're getting Elspeth Sun's Nemesis back, sure. That makes me sad because now they can kill Obnixilus, but Honestly, I probably wouldn't have blocked anyway. I think having all of our mana Are you what are you doing, sir? This is not Oh, they they're not killing Ob Do they not care about Obnixilus? Okay, bud, you gotta go. You're being ridiculous. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Good grief, man. That dog is wild. God, where's the lands at? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I put 18 lands up in this bish. Oh my god, I just want a Marshall coup. How much how how much what do you need from me? What else do you want? How do they have a card in their hand? Didn't they top deck the No, they didn't. They kept the card they have. Okay. If you're having land problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a Scarab God ain't one. <sighs> God. I'm pretty sure it's just Grave Daddy here. Maybe it should have been Grave Daddy like 10 turns ago. I don't know. <coughs> grave Daddy, can you dig my grave? Can you make it shallow? Alright, Elspeth Sun's champion. 
fairgrounds warden. What? I think Grave Daddy undigs graves. That's true. Yeah, he's he's probably more likely to get the get the the daddies out from the grave. Oh, now if we marshal coup, we get our grave daddy back. This is wild. Oh god, they're now Elspeth's lunch champion. It's always Elspeth's lunch champion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Are they gonna are they gonna go fairgrounds war and then marshal coup? Because that seems pretty good. Hydroid Crassus, where X equals five, so you draw two. All right, we need a land, and we got two cards to hit it. Hit it. And qu quit it. Next card is a Swamp. Swamp! <laughs> we do have two Swamps in the deck, so Brett, you're still alive. Oh my god, it's Catherine. It's Catherine Neal. Brett, you're not, you're not wrong. Hello, my dear. I'm streaming and you're on the stream right now. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Okay. Yeah. Are you getting, are you leaving work right now? Yes. Okay. I have some stuff to tell you, but I'll just tell you when I get home. That sounds, is it bad or good? Me. It's meh. What? Is it bad or good? Okay, well that's good. Think okay, that's fine. <clears throat> uh, I can. I think that's the best we can do on a Thursday. Okay, I think. Well, you're off tomorrow, so that's good. Yeah. I'm about to cast a martial coup and destroy all the all the creatures. Do you have that doggy card? Which one? Wasn't there a doggy card that we had one time where it's like dog coup? No. Yeah, you know what's funny? You sound like someone who doesn't play, who's never played Magic, even though you've had your own Magic podcast before. And I was a judge, and I'm actually very good at Magic. Yeah, I know. But, but when you talk, you're like, play the doggy card. Like, that sounds like someone, something someone who doesn't play Magic would say, you know? Well, that's how I talk at work, too. <laughs> you tell your coworkers to play the doggy card at work? No, I'm like, can you just give me the thing of a jig, you know, that cuts the stuff? And they're like, what? Oh, okay. Like, so you just you live know, a, you live I, a... You live a nondescript life, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, I get that. I describe things as they truly are. Okay, in their most basic of forms. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'm going to think of that doggy card. I'll get back to you. Okay, let me know. Okay, I'm going to drive home now, so I'll see you when I get there. Okay, drive safe. Okay, I love you. All right, I love you. Bye. 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 <clears throat> the doggy card. I don't actually don't know what the doggy card is. <laughs> Drafted zero rookies. We pay. <laughs> that's, that's true. There's no rookies in here. Well, oh, speak of the devil. Wow, that's weird. That's weird. I just took a phone call. And I still have four minutes more than my opponent. There's no excuse. Doggy Coot, three WW sorcery. Destroy all creatures. For each creature destroyed, its controller creates a 1 1 good boy. That sounds like a. So I would play that card. Alright, are you gonna wipe the board here? Are you gonna Marshall Coup back? Because that might be. That's too hot to handle if that's what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would have to be for six. Okay, I, again, I don't care about this. <clears throat> I think we're actually way ahead here. I, I'm no expert. I say that a lot, but really, based on <clears throat> my magic pedigree and, my, and the length of my career. I guess I'm probably an expert. I'm just trying to be humble. I'm keeping it real, guys. No, she would definitely know Isamaru. <clears throat> Katie's top eight at a ton of PTQs. She's, she had a magic podcast called The Girlfriend Bracket. I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, with Aaron Campbell uh, and Chris and uh, Haley Santo. and um, like So she's very definitely well-versed in magic. So she would definitely know Isamaru. But... I imagine the doggy card she's referring to is probably a new one. <clears throat> we just go face here. I don't care about either of these. So, we're just going to go face. <clears throat> I know she knows magic. I'm just trying to think of what card she's thinking of. Okay, you need to relax. You're getting real aggressive right now. I, I don't, I'm not here for it, okay? 
No, a dig through time would not be the card. She knows that's a, a secret layer variant. She's definitely... She, I assume she's talking about something that we've played before. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Have we not even drawn with Ob this turn? Sure. Okay, so we'll play a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One shy of doing all the things. I guess we just play this guy. Keep up cycle? I don't know. What can you do? You know what they say, that you can't teach me a new dog. I don't think it's Luris, no. Okay, we won the game. We won the match! 2-1! Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out ManaTraders.com. Guys, ManaTraders is actually changing the discount. So if you guys uh, want to get in on the 20% discount, do it before October 1st. After October 1st, it goes on to 15%, which is still great. But um, yeah, if you want a subscriber discount on ManaTraders, for 20% off, uh, definitely do it before October 1st. The link and promo code are down below, so check that out. You can also get 68% off a two-year subscription at nordvpn.org slash franklaport. It's a great internet security solution. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can get you unlock region-locked content. It's a great deal. These are great ways to support the channel. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.